Hey, you're watching with Wendy and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to downsize a pair of jeans. I lost a bit of weight over the last year and that's left me with some jeans that don't fit. It sucks to get rid of them when I like them so much. So I'm going to show you how to reduce the waistband and slim down the leg if you're in a similar situation as me. I'm going to be taking in the waistband on these pair of boyfriend jeans that I own. Yes, I understand that as boyfriend jeans, they already really lack in the hip department, but these ones are so loose now that they're at the point where they just look super saggy and they almost can slide off of my hips. A little bit of tightening at the waist will help them to sit on the hips better and get a little bit closer to my actual waist. To reduce the waistband, we could remove an equal part from the two sides. That's a bit tricky because it has to be symmetrical and you run into issues with navigating around the pockets. You can also take out fabric from the back middle, but then that brings your two back pockets closer together, which sometimes looks a little unflattering. So I'm going to go with the option of putting in two darts directly above the back pocket. Here's the jeans where I'll be slimming down the leg. The hips of them is okay, but these used to be skinny jeans and are now pretty baggy around the leg area. It makes the butt look pretty unflattering and also the legs just look like there's a lot of fabric going on. Okay, we'll get started with the boyfriend jeans where I'm taking in the waist. At the front, I pinch in enough fabric so that it's fitting comfortably all the way around and still looks okay, and I measure how much fabric I pinched. In total, I pinched two inches, so I divided that in half and pinned one inch directly above the middle of the two back pockets. I pinned these in with safety pins to try them on and yes it's looking pretty good in terms of how much room is on the side. You will have to pay attention though to how much you pinch in just because these darts are going to make the back pocket sag a little bit so there's only so much you can pinch before the back pockets start to sag way too much. I was pretty happy with the two one inch sections that I pinched and so I flipped the jeans inside out and used pins to mark out where the darts were going to go. I put in a regular pin and removed the safety pin and then flipped the fabric so that I was looking at it from a side profile. Making sure that I've lined up the fold directly with the middle of the back pocket and pulling on that back pocket to get it out of the way. I lay down the fabric in its folded position and pin so that I'm creating a diagonal line starting from the very top of the back pocket and going up to the point where I had pinched one inch in from the edge. This is where you're going to be sewing with a straight line to make the dart. I repeated the exact same steps on the other back pocket, folding it in half along the pocket and making sure that pocket fabric is out of the way, then putting in the three pins so that I can mark out the angle of the dart. Here's how the two darts look. I was double checking that everything was looking symmetrical and straight down the middle of the two back pockets. On the outside, you're gonna have these two seams. They're not intensely noticeable, but they will be there and it's an inherent part of taking in the fabric. Grab your sewing machine and sew down a straight stitch all along the pins, starting from one inch from the top where I had pinched and going down all the way until you reach the bottom of the fold, which is right where the pocket begins. I used a long stitch length and that makes it a bit easier to undo the stitches if it turns out that it doesn't look that great. After putting in these two stitches, I gave these jeans a try just to see if I liked where the darts were before I go on to the next step. If you're feeling lazy, you could stop here, but I'm going to challenge you to finish off the top edge of the jean to make it look all professional. On my left hand side, it's already done, but I'm going to show you how it's done on the right hand side. The first step is to undo the dart that you just made, but only along the waistband section of that seam. Now that we've opened up the waistband, we're going to go in again with the seam ripper and start ripping out the seams one inch away from from the seam on both sides. I do all the ripping on the inside of the jean and that helps to make sure I'm not damaging the outside of the jean and also makes it easier to keep the outside of the jeans looking nice. Open it up so that you have a hole that goes one inch past the seam on both sides. The next seam we have to rip up is the top stitch along the waistband. So I go in once again with the seam ripper, this time going half an inch out from the seam. We can go ahead and push that part open and then flip that piece of waistband out of the waist so that we're just dealing with the jean and the waistband half that's attached to it. On this one side, now we have the jeans with the dart, we're going to take a straight stitch and finish off the dart all the way down to the end of the jean, making sure everything is unfolded as we go. Here's how it looks after sewing all the way down. I unfolded the raw edge at the very top of the waistband and went all the way down with a straight stitch. The next part is to grab the waistband that's been flipped out of the way and give that a straight stitch as well, the exact same width on this side so that it's the same amount of fabric being removed. Again, here is the dart that we had sewn, carrying it all the way to the top of the waistband, and here is the other part of the waistband with a matching straight stitch. I cut off the excess fabric on that top piece of waistband and then also cut off the excess fabric on the dart. Reach in with your fingers to separate those raw edges of all of the seams and fold the edges that we had unfolded while sewing back into their original position. Once those are all folded in, flip the entire thing so it's back to where we started. Your waistband should have two halves that are meeting each other and covering the seam that we just created with the dart. Go ahead and pin the top edge and the bottom edge, then we'll sew in a straight stitch with matching gold jean thread. 
spread. And that's how you finish off the waistband so that your darts are completely hidden. I also go into the bottom edge of the dart, tie up those loose strings into a knot before snipping them off. For the jeans that were slimming down, pick the side of the leg that has no top stitch, which is the golden jean thread. For me, that was the inside edge of the leg and that's the part that's easier to work with. First, you're gonna flip the jeans inside out, which is always a kind of a weird experience. And then we're gonna go in and pinch the inner leg, adding safety pins as we go to help us determine how much fabric we need to sew away. Here's one of the legs after I finished it. It was kind of nice because it tucked away some worn down fabric on the inner thigh. So I'm gonna replicate this on the other leg. I put in a pin at the bottom of the leg to show me where everything started, a pin to show me at which point we reached that third of an inch that we were trying to remove, and then one more pin near the crotch to show me where to turn so that I reached the inner crotch. From there, I made sure the jean was folded cleanly in half and put it into the sewing machine, just going with a straight stitch all the way along the leg. Make sure if you want your jeans to stay at the same waist height that you don't go any higher on the existing crotch seam. Even though I'm removing a third of an inch all the way up the inner leg, once I reached the crotch, I made sure I aligned my stitch with the original one so that it doesn't change the height of these jeans. Here's where I like to give it a try to make sure everything fits okay. If they're okay, go ahead and snip off the excess fabric. This is especially important if you're doing this for skinny jeans because you just don't want that extra fabric sitting around. To seal off the raw edges, I used a zigzag stitch. I set it to the widest zigzag possible and then a smaller stitch length so that it gives me a very fine zigzag all the way along the leg. And here are the boyfriend jeans that I took in the waist. As you can see, there's way less room at the waist and they're no longer at risk of falling off of my hips, which is great. You shouldn't be aiming to try to do this super tight. I mean, there has to be a bit of room for your tummy to breathe. Here are the two darts that we put in. Yes, they're there, but they're not super noticeable. Plus I find this one of the easier ways to get rid of fabric. I don't think I could have removed any more from this because as you can see, the pockets are already a bit saggy, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Slipping into my skinny jeans, you can see that the leg fits much better now. There's way less spare fabric to pinch and it doesn't look anywhere near as baggy as it used to. Everything fits a lot better and I'll give you a look at the inner leg. It definitely doesn't have the same faded jean quality that it used to because we tucked away a lot of fabric, but over time that's gonna come back. And that's the nice thing about taking the fabric out of the inner leg is that it's a part of the jean that's definitely not as noticeable. Hope this quick tutorial was helpful for you if you were looking to downsize a pair of jeans. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on any more of my tutorials. I already posted a tutorial in the past that shows how to turn flare jeans into skinny jeans and also a tutorial on how to hem a pair of jeans. If you wanna check out either of those, there is a link in the description for you. Thanks for watching, bye.